Hello guys, my name is Zuram and today I want to show you how to set up PHP working environment on fresh installed Ubuntu 19. In this tutorial we're going to install Apache MySQL PHP and PHP Storm. I will also provide a Visual Studio Code link in the video description. So I prefer working with uh, PHP Storm rather than VS Code, but if you prefer uh, you can download VS Code. During this tutorial, I will use a lot of terminal commands um, and I will also provide these commands in the video description. Let's start and I'm going to open terminal and install first Apache. But uh, before I do this, let me let me hit the uh, PHP Storm download button uh, and so that until I uh, install Apache, this will be downloaded. Okay. Let's open terminal and let's install it. I will have to write a lot of sudo commands. So I'm going to basically write sudo su once, put there my password and every other command will be run as a root. Okay. apt get install. Um, yeah, before I install Apache, we need to, we need to update repositories like apt get update. Okay. And if you want to, uh, upgrade it, you need to write up get upgrade. Okay, so everything is upgraded. And let's run uh, the following command apt get install Apache 2. When this command finishes, we have already installed Apache and we can check it in the browser. We can type here localhost. And here's the Apache welcome page. It works. Uh, the index.html file, which is displayed right now, is located at the following directory, uh, var www .html index .html. We will get back to this and change uh, the view of this page, basically. Okay. When you have already installed Apache, uh, if you want to check the uh, status of the Apache from the command line, you can write service Apache2 status and we see here active running. If we want to uh, stop the Apache, we need to write stop. If we want to start, we need to write start. If we want to restart, we need to write restart. Okay. Now uh, let's install MySQL. apt get install MySQL dash server. Okay, MySQL is all, also successfully installed. Uh, after this, we should run MySQL secure uh, secure installation uh, and configure MySQL. Like if we want to uh, install validate password plugin, uh, I'm going to hit no for this because I don't want my passwords to be validated, how strong they are. Uh, the new password, I'm going to set from one to six. Uh, I made a mistake. Remove anonymous users, yes. Disable login remotely, yes. No. Yes. Okay, all done regarding MySQL. We can check if MySQL is successfully running by running command uh, service, service uh, MySQL status, active and running, we can stop uh, MySQL with stop command and restart with restart command. Okay, it's it's obvious. Now let's install uh, PHP. Uh, for PHP, we need to run apt get install PHP, but this will install uh, PHP 7.2. Okay, so let's let's do it. apt get install PHP, and this install this is trying to install PHP. 7.2. If we want to install PHP 7.3, which is right now the latest version, for this we need to add custom PPA repository to our uh, to our installation of Ubuntu. So for this we need to run command add apt repository, uh, and here we need to type the repository name like PPA OND reg slash php this is the repository name again you will find the name of the repository and some other useful links in the video description down and if you if you find this video useful um you can hit like and subscribe buttons and share this video okay so i'm going to hit enter and this uh enter once again 
this will uh, download some files and put locally okay now we can install the latest version of php apt get install php okay uh but besides that we need to install other packages like uh, lib apache to mod php which is a module uh to connect apache and uh, php together okay uh and here uh, we can install as many packages as we want. Like we can install PHP MySQL, we can install PHP CURL, and so on. There are a lot of PHP packages. You can uh, check them out, and you can install whichever you want, like PHP uh, MB string or uh, GD or etc. Okay. I'm gonna install only those packages. Hit enter, and I see that right now. Uh, Actually, 7.3 version of PHP will be installed. I'm gonna hit enter and wait a couple of minutes until PHP will be installed. Okay, now PHP is all, already successfully installed and now I'm gonna uh, check if PHP uh, works, right? So um, for this, I need to go to the following directory, uh, var www.html. And here I have only index.html file. I'm going to create new file here using get it editor like index.php. And here I need to just output PHP information. Info. Okay. Save this. And refresh the page, but it doesn't work. The reason for this is that somewhere in uh, Apache's config, there's written that uh, first Apache looks up uh, for index.html files, and then if the index.html file doesn't exist, then it searches for index.php. For this, I need to go to the file and change this. I'm gonna again use getit editor for this, and the file is located under etc apache2, uh, excuse me, mods enabled, and here it's dear conf, I think. Yeah, here it is. Uh, and I'm going to take this index.php and put it as the first first file in this list. And we need to restart Apache after doing this. Uh, we don't need sudo service Apache to restart. And now if we refresh the page, we see uh, PHP version 7.3. We have successfully installed Apache. Um, PHP and MySQL. Okay, now um, I think the PHP Storm is already downloaded, and we can we can open it. Uh, it's an archive. We need to extract it here. Okay, it's done. Go to the bin folder and open this sh file. Uh, not with double click, but we need to open this as a bar script because it's actually a shell script okay sorry so we need to run php storm uh, dot sh from the command line and here it is it was opened we can uh, click the okay do not import settings um, i confirm okay send uses statistics and skip remaining and set defaults Okay, so I have a uh, educational license is because I'm a lecturer. So, uh, but I'm gonna evaluate it for free right now. Some exception in terminal Java exception, but it's uh, it it works. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Okay, PHP Storm is already opened, and uh, now I'm gonna create a folder under this var www uh, html folder but uh, for this i'm gonna first of all i'm gonna add the php storm into uh favorites so that i don't have to uh type open the terminal every time when i want to open the php storm okay so i'm gonna close the uh command so php storm was closed and i'm gonna go to the uh, var www html folder okay and I'm going to basically do the following. Uh, here, everything is owned by root. Okay. Uh, PHP Storm, when I open it, uh, it runs from the current user, which is Zura. 
So when I open some folder, which is under this HTML uh, folder, PHPStorm just won't be able to work with this folder and create some files there. So for this to make this working, we need to change the owner of the HTML folder. Okay, so I have two terminals. Okay, let me close this. Here, I'm in this HTML folder also, and I'm gonna create new folder, uh, mkmake directory, or better, I will do the following. Uh, I will change the owner of the current folder, okay? So I'm gonna run chown. Uh, here I will write Zura colon Zura, which means that the owner, uh, the user owner and the group uh, owner of the current folder. I'm going to set both to Zura and here uh, I'm going to indicate which directory and minus R means recursive. So I'm going to hit enter. Now when I type ls minus la, I see that um, the current folder is owned by Zura Zura. Okay, so now I open the PHP Storm. Okay, and I'm going to create new project. Now I'm going to uh, select this var www HTML folder. And here uh, I'm going to create, basically I can do this from this launcher. So under HTML, uh, from here I can create new folder. Hello. Uh, okay, I'm going to open this folder and create. Okay, I will create new PHP file, index.php. Echo, hello world. And in browser, I'm gonna access it by typing hello world from here. And here it is. We see that uh, now we can work. Uh, we have full permission on this uh, on this folder of our WW HTML folder, and we can create as many folders inside it as we want from the PHP Storm, and we can uh, we can connect to the database from the index PHP and do whatever we want. Uh, I'm going to also show you how to connect to MySQL database from the PHP Storm ID itself. Okay, so. Here on the right side, there is this database tab. Um, so I'm gonna hit this plus button and select uh, MySQL. Okay, we need to download driver and the host is localhost, user is root, password is from one to six. Okay, test connection. Okay, this doesn't work, uh, I think, because uh, the password is not from one to six. Uh, I need to go to the MySQL, and here I, I have full control, basically, on MySQL. This is MySQL terminal, and I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna change the root user's password, okay? I'm gonna run alter user. Uh, okay, I think the password was successfully changed. Now I'm gonna provide here once again the password and boom we have successfully connected to the mysql database and we see the version here also okay i'm gonna click ok and this is really convenient tool if you're using php storm um, i use php storm a lot so uh, this tool uh, that it shows me the database on the right side is really convenient so i'm gonna click this settings button and show all databases all schemas From here, I, I see uh, we have four schemas. If I want to create new schema, I will open the new console and right here, create database, uh, the database name like test. And we can say default character set UTF-8 uh, and call it is UTF-8 um, MB4 Unicode. This one okay so this is a um, command which will create a database let me put here utf8 mb4 also and let's run the command you have an error in your sql syntax 
create database. Uh, I think here we don't need this uh, single quotas. Okay, let's run this. And the database has been successfully created. You see here. And you can create new tables, new columns inside the table, and so on. Okay, we have successfully installed Apache MySQL PHP, configured them. Uh, we have changed the permission under the var ww HTML uh, folder, and we have installed also PHP Storm so that we can work with the file system. Uh, we changed the owner of the HTML folder so that PHP Storm can work with it. If you prefer working with uh, Visual Studio Code, that's absolutely fine. You can download it. And as far as you change the permission also in uh, var ww HTML folder, it will be fine and you can work with it. Um, okay. And if you like the video, if it helped you even a little bit, hit the like and subscribe buttons and just wait for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.